Angoulême is a French commune, the capital of the Charente department, in the Port de Charente region of southwestern France. The inhabitants of the commune are known as Angouma Isins or Angouma Isins. Located on a plateau overlooking a meander of the Charente River, the city is nicknamed the Balcony of the Southwest. The city proper's population is a little less than 50,000 but it is the center of an urban area of 110,000 people extending more than 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles from east to west. Formerly the capital of Angoumas in the Asian regime, Angoulême was a fortified town for a long time and was highly coveted due to its position at the center of many roads important to communication so therefore suffered many sieges. From its tumultuous past the city, perched on a rocky spur, inherited a large historical, religious and urban heritage which attracts a lot of tourists. Nowadays Angulim is at the center of an agglomeration which is one of the most industrialized regions between Loire and Guerra. The paper industry was established in the 16th century, a foundry and electromechanical engineering developed more recently. It is also a commercial and administrative city with its own university of technology and a vibrant cultural life. This life is dominated by the famous Angulim International Comics Festival that contributes substantially to the international renown of the city. The commune has been awarded four flowers by the National Council of Towns and Villages in Bloom and the Competition of Cities and Villages in Bloom. History Antiquity The history of the city is not very well known before the Roman period, it is simply known that the plateau was occupied by an epidem, traces of which were found during excavations in the St. Marshall Cemetery 24, under the name Achillesma. Its currency was Limavis. The town was not located on major roads and was considered by the poet Ausonius as a small town. No Roman monuments have been found but it benefited from the Pax Romana and from trade on the river. The town had a prosperous period at the end of the Roman Empire. The rocky promontory overlooking the Charendi 80 meters, 260 feet, high and over the Angaean 60 meters. 200 feet, high formed a strategic position. It was raised to the rank of capital of Civitis, at the end of the 3rd or 4th centuries, and the first fortress dates from the end of the Roman Empire. The rampart called Baz Empire which surrounds 27 hectares of land was maintained until the 13th century. The network of Roman roads were then reorganized to link the town with the surrounding cities of Bordeaux, Saints, Poitiers, Limoges, and Perigux. The city of Haute Empire remained unknown for a long time. Recent excavations have provided details on the power of the Roman city. A well dug in an early era shows that the water table was very high. A large thermal spa complex was found under the courthouse which is usually related to water supply through an aqueduct. The first bishop of Angulim was St. Austin of Angulim in the 3rd century. The administrative importance of the city was strengthened by the implementation of a county in the 6th century with Turpian, or Turpin, 839-863 advisor to Charles the Bald. However, the town was always attached to the various kingdoms of Aquitaine and the end of antiquity for the city was in 768, when Pepin the Short defeated Hunal II and linked it to the Frankish kingdom. Middle Ages When held by the Visigoths, the city followed the Arian version of Christianity and was besieged for the first time by Clovis in 507 after Vuil then taken in 508 miraculously according to Gregory of Tours and Edmer of Chaban. During the battle, however, Clovis was seriously wounded in the leg, probably a fracture. 
The fact is reported by tradition and on a wall of a tower from the 2nd century a leg is carved called the leg of Clovis. During his stay in Angulime, after putting the garrison to the sword, Clovis pulled down the old Visigothic cathedral dedicated to St. Saturn and to build a new one bearing the name of St. Pierre. All that remains of the original building are two carved marble capitals that frame the bay of the axis and the apse of the present cathedral. In the 7th century St. Sybert stayed secluded in a cave beneath the extension to the north wall of Angulim called Green Garden which caused the creation of the first abbey, the Abbey of St. Sybert, then created the first abbey for women, the Abbey of St. Austin where the tomb of the first bishop of the city is located. In 848 Angulim was sacked by the Viking chief Hastein. In 896 or 930 the city suffered another attack from invading Vikings but this time the Vikings faced an effective resistance. Guillaume, third count of Angulim, at the head of his troops made them surrender in a decisive battle. During this engagement, he split open to the way Stonius, the Norman chief, with a massive blow together with his helmet and breastplate. It was this feat that turned him the name Taelfer, which was borne by all his descendants until Isabella of Anguilim who was also known as Isabel Taelfer, the wife of King John of England. The title was withdrawn from the descendants on more than one occasion by Richard Coeur de Lion then the title passed to King John of England at the time of his marriage to Isabella of Anguilim, daughter of Count Tamer of Anguilim. After becoming a widow, Isabella subsequently married Hugh X of Lusignan in 1220, and the title was passed to the Lusignan family, Counts of Marsh. On the death of Hugh XIII in 1302 without issue, the county of Angulim passed his possessions to the Crown of France. In 1236 Jewish communities in Anjou and Poitou particularly Bordeaux and Anguillain were attacked by crusaders. 500 Jews chose conversion and over 3,000 were massacred. Pope Gregory IX, who originally had called the crusade, was outraged about this brutality and criticized the clergy for not preventing it. From the 10th to the 13th centuries the Counts of Anguillain, the tale for then the Lusignan strengthened the defenses of the city and widened it to encompass the district of St. Marshall. In 1110, Bishop Gerard II ordered the construction of the present cathedral. The Commune Charter On May 18, 1204 a charter was signed by King John of England to make official the creation of the Commune of Angulim. The king grants to residents of Angulim to keep the freedoms and customs of their fair city and defend their possessions and rights. The city celebrated their 800th anniversary throughout 2004. The Hundred Years' War In 1360 the city, like all of Angulimus, passed into the hands of the Plantagenet English with the Treaty of Bretigny. From 16 to October 22, 1361, John Chandos, Lieutenant of King Edward III of England and the Constable of Aquitaine responsible for implementing the treaty particularly in Angoumas, took possession of the city, its castles, and the Mostier, Monastery, of St. Pierre. He received oaths of allegiance to the King of England from the main personalities of the city. The English were, however, expelled in 1373 by the troops of Charles V who granted the town numerous privileges. The county of Angulim was given to Louis d'Orleans who was the brother of King Charles VI in 1394 and it then passed to his son Jean d'Orleans, 1400-1467, the grandfather of Marguerite d'Angulim and François I. The good Count Jean of Angulim greatly expanded the county castle after his return from English captivity in the middle of the 15th century. The Modern Era Angulim, 
the seat of the county of Angoumas, succeeded to a branch of the family of Valois from which came François I, King of France from 1515 to 1547 who was born in Cognac in 1494. In 1524 the Italian navigator Giovanni di Avraina returned from the Indies. He told François I he had discovered a new territory that he named New Angulim in his honor. This area later became New Amsterdam then New York. The duchy, now crown land, thereafter was passed on within the ruling house of France. One of its holders was Charles of Valois, the natural or illegitimate, son of Charles IX. The last Duke of Angoulême was Louis Yon I, died 1844, eldest son of Charles X of France. John Calvin, the promoter of Protestantism and friend of Jean Dutillet the Archdeacon of Angoulême, was forced to flee Paris in 1533 and took refuge in Angoulême in the caves of Rochegrail at Tra Palace. He wrote some of his Institutes of the Christian Religion there which first edition was published in Latin in Basel in 1536. Angulim was affected by the revolt of the Pitot's Peasant Revolt. In 1541, the Gabel, salt tax, was imposed on St. Tanj and Angoumas. These provinces did not pay the tax on salt. The revolt broke out around Angulim and farmers from the surrounding countryside took the city in July 1548. During the first wars of religion the city took up arms, it was reconquered in 1563 by Montpensier. In 1565 Charles IX passed through the city during his royal tour of France, 1564-1566 accompanied by the court. In October 1568 the city was taken by the Protestants under Coligny. Henry III was, in his infancy, the Duke of Angoulême. He left an unflattering description, the streets of Angoulême are twisted, houses are disordered, the walls built out of various kinds of masonry would show that it was built several times and often taken and ruined. In 1588 the mayor of Angoulême, François Norman Lord of pas igrelier was ordered by Henri III to arrest the Duke of Epernon, governor of Angoumas. He led the assault, was repelled, and died on August 10, 1588. In 1619 Marie de Medicis escaped and was received by the Duke of Epernon, governor of Angoumas. At that time the castle was the residence of the governors. French Revolution During the French Revolution the city was called Mountain Charenty. The first tree of liberty was planted on July 5, 1792. World War II On June 24, 1940, the Second Verfügungstrupp Division, Special Intervention Troops, Desreich supported by other units of the Wehrmacht arrived in Angoulême. These troops took prisoners and neutralized the many refugee French soldiers in the city. Their number is estimated between 10 and 20,000. They were released in the following days. The Desreich Division, which became tragically famous in 1944 during the Battle of Normandy continued their lightning war by quickly moving to the Spanish border to quickly set the line of demarcation to cut France in two. Angoulême was located in the occupied zone under German authority and was the seat of the Feldkommandatur. The border with the Free Zone, colloquially called the Zone Nano, non-occupied, passed about 20 kilometers, 12 miles east of Angoulême through the forest of Bracon and split the department in two. On August 20, 1940 a convoy of Spanish Republicans were sent from Angoulême, Convoy 927. This was the first convoy of the history of deportation in Europe. Men over the age of 13 were sent to the Mothausen camp where very few survived, women and children were sent to Franco. 
These refugees were gathered in camps of Kumolopes at Ruel Sur to Vernilliers in Angulim. It also served as a concentration camp for gypsies until June 1946. On October 21, 1941 the young Gontrain Labregier, who tried with his friend Jean-Pierre Riviere to set fire to a train carrying straw and munitions in Angulim railway station, was shot by the occupiers. This was the first of a long list of 98 resistance fighters or hostages from Charenti. In 1942 Mayor Gillen was dismissed and accused of belonging to an organization outlawed by the Vichy regime. He was replaced by a notable industrialist, Pallas. On October 8, 1942 387 people of Jewish origin were arrested and deported to Auschwitz. Only eight of them ever returned. On March 19, 1944 Allied bombing caused widespread damage and one casualty at the National Explosives Factory. On 15 June and August 14, 1944, the railway station was the target of American flying fortresses that dumped a carpet of bombs with little damage to the Germans but killing 242 civilians destroying 400 houses, and caused 5,000 disaster victims in La Peron, La Uma, Madeleine, and Grand Font districts. At the end of August 1944 the Elster Column, which was composed of the remains of various German units and the Indus Legion, passed through the city without incident and withdrew. Various units of FFI from the department and reinforcements from Dordogne then began the encirclement of the city. On the evening of 31 August an attack was launched, putting to flight the remnants of the German garrison. They fortunately did not have an opportunity to reorganize the defense of the city using the numerous and formidable fortifications erected for this purpose. On the night of 31 August to 1 September the city was liberated and a liberation committee with a new prefect was installed. This attack, however, resulted in 51 casualties among the different units involved, Makita Berhashe I'm, Group Soleil, SSS, Special Section for Sabotage, etc. A museum in the commune is devoted to the resistance and the deportations of Jewish and political prisoners. A statue near the station commemorates the deportations to the concentration camps. The survivors of Operation Frankton, notable for their daring raid by canoe on the German U-boat base at Bordeaux, made their escape across country to a safe house at Ruffbeck just north of Angulim. This is now the site of a shop featuring British goods. The monument to the resistance is in Chasenil to the east. Post-war history After the war, the city underwent a major expansion of its suburbs. First Grand Font and Bel Air, following the MRU reconstruction program for war damage of the area around the station which was bombed in 1944. Then in the 1960s the districts of Bass, Zach, and the Grand Gara were built and then there was the creation of Priority Urban Zones, SUPS, at Ma Campaign in the 1970s. Gradually industries moved into more spacious industrial zones created in the peripheral communes between 1959 and 1975. Silak Arabian, 1959 Les Agriers, 1964. Scene No. 3, Gant Pontver and Lizel de Spagnac, 1967. Norsk, early 1970s. Kum at St. Riex, 1980. Urbanization also affected the peripheral communes with housing estates at Soyux and Ruel sur Tuver, and the agglomeration became one of the largest cities in the southwest. In 1972, the city signed a pilot city contract with the state, Datar, represented by Alban Jalandin, which allowed the city to make large-scale public works, for example the small ring road, 
Bridge in Rue Saint Antoine, Boulevard Britain, Tunnel of Gating, Penetrating Ma Campaign, and called the Way to Europe. Visits at Ma Campaign, the Saint Marshall Town Center, Underground Parking at Bouillard and Saint Marshall, Montoisier Indoor Swimming Pools at Ma Campaign, a pedestrianized street, a one way traffic plan with computerized management of traffic lights. Angoulême is one of the first cities in France with Bordeaux which has the Gertrude computerized system called Philibert in Angoulême, STGA Urban Transport, 10 routes with flexible buses, development of Bouillard Square, Conservatory of Music. In 1989 after defeat in the municipal elections, the PS deputy mayor, Jean-Michel Boutron left a hole of 164 million francs in the finances of the city and a debt of 1.2 billion francs. This deficit has burdened the finances of the city and long served as justification for the non-involvement in the completion of public works. The small ring road, the southwest quarter, that is the Aquitaine Boulevard, a second bridge over the Charendi and the connection to the Way of Europe, was completed in 1995. Following the construction of the Nautilus Swimming Complex at St. Riex by the urban community, the town of Angoulême closed three swimming pools in 2001, Montoisier, Ma Campagne and the Bergines Summer Pool.